Today's the day. I have some scissors. I have some clippers. I got a wig just in case I completely regret this mistake. I'm shaving my head. Hey guys, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Brianna Celeste. For those of you who do know me, you are probably wondering why the hell is she doing this? Long story short, my hair is very damaged. I started relaxing my hair in about fifth grade. Um, as you can tell, I am mixed. My mother is white and my father is black. Um, growing up, I very much envied my mother's hair. It was bone straight, but it was still very thick, very luscious, and I wanted that. So she started taking me to salons to get my hair relaxed. My hair straightened about every three to six months. Um, and it was very, very damaging for my hair. Um, it would break off constantly. My hair never grew past my shoulders once I started relaxing it. Um, and that didn't stop until I was about 19. Going natural was actually kind of an accident for me. I wanted to give my hair some time from the chemicals and the longer time passed the more I started to actually like the curls and then finally I did the big chop and I fell in love. Once I chopped my hair and I had those curls without the little stringy pieces that were still straight and damaged, I took a lot of pride in my hair. I would walk around with this big bang and fro and wait for people to compliment me. Um, it, it was it was insane and it was in, intense how, how much my hair changed me and it started to kind of define me. In July of 2020, I kind of had a mental breakdown. I was going through my regular depression, my seasonal depression, even though it was the middle of summer, on top of COVID depression. Um, work was stressful, my home life was stressful at the time, my relationship was very stressful, and I kind of just broke down and, you know, was like, forget it, I'm just gonna dye my hair. Um, I'd always wanted red hair growing up and my mother would never let me do it because she knew how damaging it would be for my hair but you know now I'm 25 years old I'm grown I'm going to do what I want with my hair I'm gonna bleach and dye it um, because I had been natural for about five years already my hair took very well to the bleach um, I think as I was brushing the bleach out of my hair I literally had one strand fall out my hair was definitely dry it was definitely ramen noodle hair but it was still on my head and that's all honestly I was asking for at that time um, I used semi-permanent reds to dye my hair different different shades of reds for a few months and I was fine uh, but once September I believe of 2020 hit um, my hair started to fall out um, it wasn't it wasn't breaking at the bottom like it was when I was relaxing and putting those chemicals in it it was falling out from my scalp from the root in huge chunks whenever I would brush my hair comb my hair in the shower I, I would pull out chunks of hair and it would look like I just pulled out a full on a hair extension and that was very stressful for me that was very scary for me um, and that definitely took a hit on my mental health I don't think that the bleach really had much to do with my hair starting to fall out just because my hair held up so well when I first bleached it and it was a few months later that it started to fall out and I personally have never heard of that but then again I don't know much about bleaching hair and I don't know much about hair falling out so if you know anything about that about the delay between the bleaching and the hair falling out please let me know um, I honestly think it was stress induced like I said my my job my home life were all very stressful for me 
and I'm not gonna lie since I've switched jobs and my home life is better my hair is is still falling out but it is significantly less at least half the amount is is falling out um, I would like to speak to a doctor to ask them questions about hey what's what's going on um, I just haven't haven't really had the the time so until then I've been talking for a very long time now about just shaving it just starting over um, most of the people tell me no don't do that your hair is so beautiful and yes I do like it how it is. I like the way it looks right now, but I hate how dry it is. I hate the way it feels. I hate how unmanageable it is right now. So I definitely just want to start over with a clean slate and and grow it out natural to its former glory and then some. And I'm I'm very much ready to <laughs> I was very much ready to do this for the past I don't know how many months I have been telling everybody I'm shaving it I'm shaving it I'm shaving it and now that it's time I'm not gonna lie I am I am high-key terrified um, but let's do it so the first thing I'm gonna kind of do is section it out and then cut off just the length of my hair because clippers will not go through this mess um, just to make it easier so that's what I'm doing right now Ooh, this is a lot of hair to put in this tiny scrunchie all right see this right here is broken off and this used to be the longest part of my hair and now it's really short the breakage started I want to say about two months ago which I am obviously not a fan of <sighs> but alas and I'm gonna be completely honest I'm keeping my hair I'm putting it in a ziploc bag and I'm putting it in my box of memories <sighs> Okay, well, ooh, wow, my heart, <laughs> there is no going back now, but I was not expecting to feel like this. Wow. Wow, that is... Okay, okay. Keep going, keep going. I'm trying to do this very quickly so I don't start crying.
last piece <sighs> wow um yeah just wow so now that I have this cute little cowlick thing going I'm gonna shave it um, I'm going to start with a number four guard, which is a half inch. Yes, I did pull out a tape measure just so I could get an idea of how long my hair will actually be once I'm done with this. So I'm going to snap that on there. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, it's on there. Okay. And we're just going to go for it, I guess. <sighs> still scared. Ooh, that vibration. Oh, wow. That is still a lot of hair on my head. Okay. And if you're wondering why I'm doing this in my bedroom and not my bathroom, it is because the lighting is better in here than it is in there. So now I am going to go in with a 1 8 inch number one guard. Um, I was going to do a quarter of an inch, but I'm looking at the length right now, and I think I'm still going to want it shorter than a quarter of an inch, and I'm just going to skip that step and go straight into an eighth inch, and we'll see how it goes. My scalp is very, very dry. Oh, yeah, that's all I can see is a bunch of dandruff. Disgusting.
it's a lot harder to do on yourself than it is to do on somebody else. Not left handed. But I am today. My head feels weird. I'm just trying to be thorough and make sure everything is one length.
I think I think I want to keep it this length. I'm just gonna have James come in here to make sure I got everything. That is a lot of hair. Just to make sure I got everything one length. And yeah. Okay. Okay. So James came in, evened it out. I took a shower. I brushed a lot of dandruff out of my scalp. That was insane. And this is what it looks like. Um, I'm not going to lie, y'all. I'm in love with it. I, I absolutely love it. I have no words. I just, <laughs> I keep, I keep just staring at it and feeling it and it's, it's so soft and it's, it's cold. I don't have all that hair to keep my, my scalp warm. So now I'm just cold, but it is, it is very soft <laughs> and I just, I don't know what to do with it yet. Um, I did get a wig. I did get a couple of headscarves. I did get a couple of slouchy hats just in case I hated it. Um, I will post probably another video on me putting that wig on, um, trying on those, uh, the scarves, the, the caps, um, just to see how I like that. But yeah, I love it. I love it. I could not be happier. <laughs> And I'm, I'm so ready to grow this out. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!